Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the GDB Defy command for ESP32 JTAG debug. The Defy command is very interesting. It can create the uh, special command. Okay. It can group uh, other command together to a new command. So uh, let's take a look how we do it. Uh, here still we use the code from previous video. Uh, we open our uh, command line interface to run the uh, open OCD. So first uh, we run our open OCD. Put it here. Press enter. Is listening for the GDB connection. And the second, we run our GDB software. For the GDB software, we need to go into our source code folder and we input our GDB command like this. So enter. So it's uh, reading the fresh. It's here, reading the fresh information. Okay, so uh, it stop at this uh, break temporary breakpoint uh, app main function next we set a breakpoint at this line 120 120 and we press c uh, make it continue to run and stop at this breakpoint okay so Next, we will use the defy to create one special function. So defy, create one special function. Let's say is my print. Okay, press enter. So, uh, what we will print by calling my print, uh, we will print all the value. Let's say print i, and print. A array data array and print uh, uh, string okay and print customer or the variable or the variable okay so press enter and uh, type end to finish the define to finish the define so this is our special command my print my print if we press enter to see what will happen okay so it will print out all the variable this is i this is a ver array data and this is string data this is a customer this is the customer structure variable data okay so this we by this way we can create one special command uh, we call it my print okay the special command also can take input permit so how we do it we can define a new function the function name is add uh, add function okay so for the add function we do some check if uh, we can check the input parameter number uh, by this uh, variable argc arg means argument c means count means how many input uh, parameter we check the input parameter number to see whether it equal to two or not if it is equal to two we use set uh, to set one variable, let's say m equal to uh, the first input parameter 
A R G zero. A R G zero is the first input parameter plus A R G one. A R G one is the second input parameter. So、uh, we add it together and we print it out. Print the M and else. If if the input parameter, if the input parameter number is not equal to two, we print out some information. Ah,、uh, the input parameter. Ah,、uh, the input parameter is wrong. Okay. And we press enter. We input end, we input another end, so we finish the defi for the add function. So let's try it. Take a look what will happen. Add function. If we didn't put any input parameter, we just press enter, so it will output the information. The input parameter is wrong, and if we add the function. Let's say we get one input parameter is one, another input parameter is two, so it will print out the sum of the one and two. So let's try another one. Three and four. Okay, so it will add it these two input parameter value and print it out. By this way, we create one special edit function, and it also can take, it also can take the input parameter. Okay, so ah,、uh, we have two ah,、uh, we have two ah、uh, function ah、uh, our old function. So if you want to check how many functions ah、uh, you have create, we can use this command line. Show user. Ah,、uh, it will tell you how many command, how many user command, user command add function, user command my print function. Okay. Also, you can ah、uh, specify. You can especially show one command. How we do it? Show user. Ah,、uh, my print. Okay. So this is. Show one special user command. Okay. Also, you can redefine one、uh, command, one user command. Redefine it. So let's say、uh, we just、uh, we just use define、uh, my print. Press enter. It will ask you whether you need to redefine command or not. Press yes. So it will.、Uh, Redefine it. We can、uh, print the i, and press end, and end input end. So for this command, we show it again. Use my print. So it will just simply print out the i. Okay, we show use. The, okay, so the my print. Command already be、uh, replaced, already being replaced, redefined. So if we call the my print, it will only print out the at the i. It will only print out the i. So by using this defy,、uh, by using this defy function, you can group、uh, lots of GDB command. Inside one one command, oh, okay. You can group lots of GDB command inside one command and、uh, do the ah、uh, just a type one times my print. You can print all the things out. Okay, so ah、uh, this is a D five command. If you ah、uh, if you quit out the GDB, it will disappear. Let's say we quit out. We quit the GDB. Yes, and、uh, 
we end the GDP again. We end the GDP again. Okay, and we show the used. So you will see the DeFi command uh, already disappeared. So if you wanted to save the design, uh, define command, you need to write it into the script, okay? We can write it into a script file and it will be always there, okay? Okay, so this is a uh, uh, GDB define command. We can use it to create our own function, our own command, okay? So this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.